Okay, now this is the second unpackaging. Of course, the first video, as you noticed, that was an unofficial uh, pickup because technically I got it off of Facebook in a Facebook group. So it's a little different. I This is cool. I like that. I appreciate that. Now this, of course, is a eBay acquisition. Now, I've been a collector of the $6 million man and the binocle woman for over 30 years plus now. And um, I have plenty of figures. Boy, do I. I mean, I got fully together, kind of like that G.I. Joe I just showed a minute ago. I got legs, torsos, arms, you name it. Um, lots of arms. <laughs> no exaggeration there. I have over, I think, 60 six million dollar man arms and we're talking the the power arm the bionic arm you know got plenty of the regular arms you know non-bionic um now this particular item here is usually the most commonly misplaced or damaged from the third overall version second edition because there were you gotta remember folks in 1975 there were two versions of the american release of the six million dollar man figure that because of the kids wanting to pop off the other arm, the non-bionic arm, the left arm that is not meant to be taken off. They broke it. And of course, as I've explained in the past, they went ahead and replaced it and made it so you could pop off both arms. Well, in 1977, they uh, gave it a new innovation called the bionic grip. You know, you push the little yellow button, hands open. You, know, you want to have the hand flat and open. Push the yellow button and they would shut. Okay, now this of course is its main accessory, and that is the eye beam, the orange steel beam, or the orange girder. You know, you know that's a that's a word from back in the day. You know, let's face it. Um, and so this guy, he had that. I I politely asked him, well, what would you want for just the girder and the booklet? Because I didn't need the figure. <laughs> Trust me, I don't. And the figure he had was a non-bionic grip version. It was just your regular. You know, normal hands, you know, all preposed. So it's like, didn't really go with it. So I got it for 25 bucks. Woohoo! Because the end, I mean, if you ever see a really pal palpable, movable, really nice looking orange steel beam girder or the I beam, take your pick, in, um, in the wild or even on eBay, it is definitely worth more than 25 bucks. Because it is extremely um, fragile to a certain degree. Because I've had some that were oxidated. Which means that they were exposed too much to just natural elements like the sunlight. Possibly gotten wet. So if it gets wet from, from play. And if it got dried in the sun. Whatever like that. That would and literally um, make it super brittle. Because I had one um, a couple of years back. And when I took it out of the box, I was going, wait a minute, this is, this is awful hard. And I don't mean hard like as in a 3D printed hard. I mean, it was just ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and it broke. You know, it's like, <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. But hey, let's get to it. This, of course, is coming all the way from, oof, oof. well, unfortunately, I can't read the, the state on there too well. It looks like. Illinois from Cameron C A R M I Cameron maybe <laughs> but uh, the name of the seller is Aaron thank you very much Aaron and no it's not a we <laughs> all right let's get into it uh, let's make sure I don't um, cut myself I've never even had a wee box so I wouldn't know what a wee was <laughs> Newspaper in here. <laughs> oh, it's not newspaper, it's just plastic. All right. Okay. And there it is. And look, it's still palpable. Still moves. It's dirty. Definitely needs to be cleaned. I will actually use hand soap. <laughs> well, no, I'll just use baby wipe like I always do. I use baby wipes and all that because I don't want to. Um, expose it to too many elements like it was mentioned water heat anything like that let's take a good look at it as you can see 
I mean, there you go. That is nice. You know, because there are there is a particular seller on eBay. He's a good dude. I've dealt I bought and stuff from him in the past, and he does 3D printings of these. I do have an example of a 3D printed one because I actually wanted to see what it was like versus the original one. It is a heavier item, so even when you put it inside of Steve's Bionic Grip, it um, it's a little bit of a challenge for him because this is a lot lighter, you know. And so is that, and of course the booklet that came with it. See, there he is, holding that steel gear in his hand. Ugh, you got that, Steve, you know. And then this catalog's awesome. Now the thing about this catalog, if you take a good look at it. It's extraordinarily big. So this could have came from something else, but either way, you know, because you know what? Us six million dollar man collectors could never have too many orange steel beam girders. <laughs> so hey, that was it. I thank everyone who's been liking, commenting, and subscribing. Tune in for more exciting 70s awesomeness in the very near future. So goodbye for now.